So the biggest question I've got for everybody is, um, who's got an OCT? Okay. So if you've not got an OCT, have you got a funders camera? Okay. So the good news today is that those who know OCT, thank you very much, those who know OCT will be familiar with what I'm going to show you now, but for those who have funders cameras and not OCT, you'll also be very familiar because the beauty of the Topcom product from an OCT point of view is it's a funders camera and an OCT combined. And today, one wouldn't necessarily purchase a funders camera on its own because a funders camera is only going to give you the surface of the back of the eye. It's not going to tell you what's happening beneath that surface. But if you're looking at an OCT scan for the first time and you don't necessarily know where you are, it would be fantastic if you had a funders camera and an OCT combined to give you effectively pinpoint registration between the two. They're pretty much a, a self-educating tool. So, oh, I apologize. That's uh, a nice car. I don't know who's uh, <laughs> Why do these things never work when uh, you want them to? <laughs> Bear with me. Okay. That's not going to happen, is it? Do it like this. Okay, fantastic. So a little introduction, um, I'm, uh, I'm Ben Turley, I represent the uh, imaging, if you like, uh, team with our uh, global marketing team uh, and product design. Uh, that's why I've got a silly accent, uh, it's my New Jersey accent, Jersey. Jersey, pure Jersey, uh, I try and blend in, um, but I'm effectively based in New York, um, so I think I'm a local until somebody says, where are you from? I, uh, I live here. Anyway. Um, so let me introduce you, I've got two platforms here. I've got the Maestro and I've got the Triton. And they're two completely different instruments for two completely different elements of your practice. For example, you may not be familiar with a need to look, for example, at the Triton. And I'll explain, hopefully, exactly why during these uh, quick uh, presentations. One of the most important things that we wanted to do here tonight is let you get some hands on and press our buttons. So I'm not going to drag this out, um, but as you might have seen from uh, Boston's uh, presence, we are recording this simply for a Facebook feed for some of our uh, customers who uh, couldn't make it here this evening, so or didn't want to come in the short, so that, you know whatever they're uh, they're in at this time in the evening. All right, so here we go. The Maestro, effectively, is an extremely uh, popular instrument. And over a third of OCTs in practice today are a Topcon OCT. And not a lot of people are aware of that because here in the US, Topcon didn't have a presence with the OCTs. You might be familiar with Zeiss. I know um, somebody has a, a Zeiss instrument or access to a Zeiss instrument. And there are, of course, other instruments out there. But Topcon are the global OCT, or the number one global OCT provider. So let me introduce you to the Maestro. The Maestro is a fully automated fundus camera and OCT combined. It's capable of taking both eyes, images of both eyes, in literally less than 40 seconds. It takes a second to capture the image, but the machine itself will align on the first eye and move over to the second eye. Effectively, from a, a practice point of view, let's put it in there, we've had some extremely uh, high recommendations from different uh, ODs or MDs across the, uh, the domestic US market. And the most important feedback we get is that having such a small instrument with so many elements in one little box is what makes it exciting. So let's talk about its flexibility. The machine is extremely flexible. The screen on the top is, is uh, uh, configurable depending on where you want it to be in the practice. And I'm conscious that if I move now, this, uh, the guys on the feed ain't gonna see, but for the benefit of the room, sorry, sorry Boston, um, you can 
configure the instrument just like a funders camera from the side from this side you know left or right handed but most importantly as you'll see in this format you can park it against the wall so from a space point of view the machine can be literally can take up only a couple of feet space in your practice so from a operational point of view as illustrated for those uh, on the feed you can see here how you configure it against the wall, you can configure it sideways, uh, right-handed, left-handed, it really doesn't matter. The instrument comes as you see it on the table here and as you see it on the image, but it also has a screen. That screen doesn't necessarily need to be next to the instrument. In fact, we have a tiny version which actually has a small form factor PC that can bolt up underneath a table or in a closet, in a cupboard, and that will allow you to position the instrument anywhere you like. That might actually be on the arm of a chair. We've genuinely installed it in that manner. So on the arm of a chair, you could swing in the OCT to the patient. You can punch in the patient's details on the back of the actual instrument on the screen that you see here. You can capture, you can review, and if you want to explore those images further or you want to review the reports or send the reports to an EMR, that's what the little small form factor PC would do. But we've just talked about it and you can see it quite here for those on the feed you can see the instrument here. But the key part of the instrument is effectively the science of the automation. We've got a machine that will automatically align on the eye, it will automatically capture the OCT and the fundus image. What does that mean to me in practice? It means I don't need to worry about training my staff. I don't need to worry about who my staff are. If I've got front of house staff, they can physically capture the scans using the Maestro without any training. It's effectively a one button press on the screen. That's what makes the Maestro so exciting and so popular to our current customer base. So as an illustration, you can see here, we literally enter the patient's details that might be on the instrument or physically on the PC. We can select a scan icon. The scan icons on the back of the instrument allow us to do different scan formats. We might want to do a high resolution single line. We might want to do the total eye, 45 degree view, including the disc and the macula in the same scan. <coughs> we choose our scan protocol, we hit capture, and we can see the images instantaneously. As I say, I could physically walk up to that machine right now, capture both of my eyes, myself as the patient, in less than 40 seconds. That's how cool it is. Now, for that speed and that simplicity, you might expect there's a compromise in image quality. But as you'll see here, there's no compromise in image quality. The fundus image is phenomenal, and this is approved in different markets from a diabetic screening point of view. There are certain regions across the world who are very insistent on a, a particular level of quality for fundus imaging for diabetic screening. But here from the OCT scan, for those of you who are familiar with OCT or have access to an OCT, I'm sure you'll agree there is nothing wrong with this image. In fact, it's pretty stunning. The element of the green line that you see on the fundus image gives us our pinpoint registration. I can double click on my OCT or my fundus image and it will drop a pin straight into the element of the OCT or the fundus. To play a little game, if I saw a little yellow spot here, I could double click on the yellow spot, it would drop a pin straight into the OCT and structurally that yellow spot could be one of many things and sit in different layers of the retina. It's a diabetic patient, so it could be a cotton wool spot, but it's probably drusen, most likely exudate. The pin would drop into the structure. If it was exudate, we'd see high reflectivity here in the inner retina. If it was drusen, it'd be here on the RPE. And if it was a cotton wool spot, anything from the room, it'd be up here at the top. Yeah, it'd be sat on the ILM, the inner limiting membrane. So the OCT is effectively, with fundus image and OCT combined, a self-educator. If you're not familiar with what you're looking at here, but you are here, let's face it, this is our comfort zone, you can click here and it'll show you here and vice versa. If I wondered what this shadowing was here, I could double click and it would tell me it was more than likely a vessel. That's the beauty of pinpoint registration and a fundus camera and OCT combined. So that effectively 
gives you an overview of the maestro. And as I say, the most important thing for me is to get hands on. But we believe the maestro really is a dream come to, true to your practice. If you wanted a fundus camera, you wanted an OCT, you wanted it all combined into one small footprint, you wanted it to effectively capture the images itself without any interaction from you, that's exactly what the maestro is. It's the perfect OCT for your practice.